ya ma hwefo ina kwaba edoba amisi tv yes ende ya be pm e o madina e bonten so na madina no e na wo hwe nice building bi na e si madina mentem wa na nkofo bisa so building way ya de be den e na den yakopon atopoma kwem e ma e ya the vice president of ghana the facility a e ya tv eh for enedi enim by meant by kayeye kayo emba pese president of ghana eh vice president of ghana hs yes yes ago or promise or your promise be e wa bobo shi maketa o chese okay o bi so o si dan e de makaye fo na sa dan no si amakaye fo na ha e mu ba ko ana e eden e wo madina e bonten so ende e no mu bia no but this e dan no ende e no mu bia no ama e amakaye fo ni na to the vice president of ghana no ende o ha o bebe bia no but this a uh, facility we meant by kaye for by a far in the past three thousand okay uh, almost a uh, yeah the your mom full video now but it must have about vice president of ghana air casa will be a or j contract nature so key even the kaye for nina will be have a baby ano over for a juma obe obe swing juma na you bet your car now you some of free accommodations we have uh, some of the free building uh, uh, i must say funny part five fifty thousand on this tie a dine on this amis tv tv train say vice president beba no baba commission a dino a damaya thank you Thank you very, very much. The Greater Accra Regional Minister, Minister for Gender, Children and Social Protect Protection, and MP for Kwaikwe South, Honorable Dakwa Newman, the Minister of State, for the Ministry of Local Government and Decentralization. MP, Honorable Obi Amor, the Court District Assembly Common Fund Coordinator, Arina Toshi Adulati, CEO of NAIP, Kufio Fosun Cancer, Kanda, our Greater Accra Regional Chairman of the MPP, Honorable Divine Agohum, CEO at GEA um, Kozi Yanke, CEO of TVET, Mausi Awiti, Freda Samoa, CEO of CTVET, distinguished members of the press, traditional leaders, the clergy, our imams, I greet all of you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. It is an honor and a privilege and a great pleasure to be here today for the commissioning of these hostels and skills training centers for the Kaya and the whole program to empower the Kaya It has been a long time in coming. The Kaya phenomenon is not new in Ghana. It's been there for many, many, many years. After looking at the plight of the Kaya in 2019, when I visited Agbogbolushi, I made a promise on behalf of government that we would look at trying to address the Kaye phenomenon by making sure we could build hostels for them and offer them some training so that they could have alternative skills to engage in other productive activities. When I made this promise on behalf of government, 
there were many who thought it was not a realistic promise. They thought it was not possible. They said it was a 419 scheme. But I knew that inshallah, it was possible for us to do it. We had COVID in 2020 and we had to recover from it. I subsequently called the administrator of the district assembly, Common Fund, Honorable Irene Natoshi Adu. I told her that we needed to do something and I needed her help. After I presented my case, she said, I am going to help. I will do everything I can to help to make this possible. And this was the beginning of the process. A society that does not take care of its poor, of its vulnerable, is not a good society. And therefore you will see that since we came into government, we have been thinking very much about how to take care of the poor and the vulnerable amongst us. Different programs by our government have been initiated to take care of the poor. We have looked at how to help the lepers. I am a patron for the lepers aid. We've looked at how to help the street children. We've looked at how to help persons with disabilities, our brothers and sisters in the Zungo communities. We have brought about programs through the Zungo Development Fund to help them. We have looked at how to help sickle cell sufferers by bringing a very expensive drug, hydroxyurea, under the National Health Insurance Scheme. We have looked at how to help children who suffer from cancer by bringing childhood cancer under the National Health Insurance Scheme. We have looked at how to help poor parents who cannot afford school fees by bringing about free senior high school education. And so what we are doing for Kaya years today is part of a whole program of activity of our government to help the poor and the vulnerable. And so you see why it gives me so much pleasure to be with you today at the launch of the Kaye Empowerment Program. We have proven the naysayers wrong. I am on it to be part of this initiative and which is dedicated to empowering headquarters and offering transitional job pathways and enhancing their socioeconomic status. It is a cause, as I have told you, close to my heart as it addresses the plight of a marginalized segment of our society. This noble endeavor resonates profoundly with the core values of our mission as it squarely addresses the pressing needs of a marginalized segment of our society that has long been relegated to the shadows of neglect and indifference. As it has been said, we have over 100,000 headquarters or Kaye in Ghana who endure unimaginable hardships such as lack of shelter, inadequate medical care, and harassment in urban centers on a daily basis. From the harsh realities of homelessness to the glaring deficiencies 
in access to adequate health care and the pervasive scourge of harassment, their plight stands as a stark testament to the moral imperative of urgent intervention to uplift and transform their lives. Through the collaborative efforts and strategic partnerships forged between government agencies, private enterprises, and esteemed civil society organizations, such as the Ghana Enterprises Agency, the NEIP, the YEA, CTVET, GET Fund, TVET, District Assemblies Common Fund, the Father Campbell Foundation, BEST, and the Ghana National Gas Company, and BOST. The Kaye Empowerment Program has been meticulously conceived and crafted to provide holistic and sustainable economic empowerment to these resilient young women. This multifaceted program is characterized by a rigorous and exhaustive recruitment process culminating in the selection of initial training cohorts comprising 5,000 headquarters. Over the span of three weeks, participants will be immersed in a transformative learning experience, encompassing essential modules such as baking and beading, supplemented by invaluable soft skills training in personal health care, financial management, and entrepreneurial acumen. Crucially, the provision of post-training support and implementation of a track and trace model serves as the linchpin of the program's efficacy with participants receiving starter packs tailored to facilitate their seamless integration into new economic opportunities and further ensure the beneficiaries do not return to being headquarters. This unwavering commitment to ongoing support is buttressed by a robust framework of continuous monitoring and evaluation, ensuring dynamic program enhancement and personalized assistance for further education and entrepreneurial endeavors. The program's infrastructure boasts the establishment currently of two hostels. Other hostels are under construction in the Ashanti region and the Bono East region. Each meticulously designed to accommodate and cater to the needs of 300 girls. The hostels are equipped with modern training facilities, sanitary washrooms, bathing areas, and exemplify our unwavering commitment to safeguarding the dignity and well-being of all participants. With an overarching goal to empower Kayaye across Ghana, furthermore, we are in talks to provide them also with ICT training. These partnerships will further expand horizons of the Kaye Empowerment Program, offering even more avenues for skills development and economic empowerment. Expectations are rightfully high with curriculum development meticulously aligned with industry standards, the deployment of highly competent trainers and instructors, the provision of adequate facilities, seamless collaboration with relevant industries, the implementation of robust assessment systems, and the provision of essential supportive measures such as starter packs and internship places. As we embark on this transformative journey, let us collectively 
pledge our unwavering commitment and solidarity to ensure the resounding success of the Kaya Empowerment Program. United by the resolute belief that it is possible, let us stand as beacons of hope, breaking down barriers, forging new pathways, and charting a brighter, more inclusive future for all. Together, we can and we will take a bold solution that will bring a profound and lasting difference. My special thanks go to Irene Natoshi Adu, the administrator of the District Assembly Common Fund, for her commitment to this program. She was very, very critical. Special thanks also go to the CEOs of the YEA, the NEIP, the DTVET, CTVET, Get Fund, the GEA, and others who have contributed. My thanks also go to Ajara, Ajia Azara Harun and her team, Father Campbell and his team for all their commitment and hard work to making today possible. Mabisi yebeni, chindabayi, niye tuma tuma, oi, zula wana dinang manya asem, nitu zuk sungu, nitu zuk sungu, manda yelia, niti ya nila ya, kayakya, mare, shili ya nintuni, ingisi, kabang situma, Nerba Panda Yan and the Kunani, Kayana Yamangi, now when you call it, then in Nani Azunawa, Zunawa, then Nania, now when you call it, Tibia Champahi, to Queer Maran Sungniani, and Sungniani, and Malan Sungnia, that is our channel to me. Tia Chakayala Tuma. Bang sutuma yena Maria mamang nu sutuma ndihriya bisi kapa bachana sukuti kaya mang mamang nang lelegre nang azriki kasi zachana sone dzuo yari chaka yatbori nang shela swachana taki ya hankale yale dongwa kunane wa yale doko na yaku yale ma ne dene nane it is possible te nang ne karuton pam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa ta'ala wa barakatuh. Wa ta'ala wa barakatuh. Thank you so much. I want to take this opportunity to introduce the parliamentary candidate for the La Nkwantanam Medina constituency, Okum Kwam Robert Lamte. He is your PC. Support him. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Vice President Flag Thank you. 